My role on the Garden Party Committee was co-publicity officer with my lovely friend Katya. We managed the social media accounts and also helped out with design and decor, which Charlotte was in charge of. That morning, we all got up super early at like 8.30am to add some last minute touches to the decorations. We sprayed all the paper flowers we had crafted ourselves with fire retardant spray, assembled the lanterns as well as built the flower arches that we wanted to put at the entrances. And now, I'm going to take you guys on like a little walkthrough of the gardens. When you first arrive, you had to present a negative lateral flow test and your ticket at the gate. And then, you have taken a walk along this cute little path that we've decorated with paper flowers. It was quite a gloomy day and I spent the whole event praying like, oh my god, oh my god, please do not rain. It did drizzle slightly the first hour, but after that, it was fine. And once you got to Clough Lawn, you and your group of six could pick which blanket you wanted to sit down on. Everyone on the committee received bar training so we could all serve at the event. This was my very first time being a waiter, so I was quite scared that I would spill something on someone, but luckily that didn't happen. My friends told me that because I was walking all over the place, trying to spot me was like playing a game of Where's Waldo. The food, especially the Biscoff cupcake, was amazing. The performance was so good and the atmosphere just radiated like pure good vibes. And I'm going to turn off the music now so you can experience it too. We also didn't specify her dress codes. I thought it was quite cool that everyone just showed up in what they were most comfortable in. And yes, there was someone wearing a box just now. And at 7, when the garden party officially ended, so many people stayed on their blankets with their friends. And I always think it's a good sign when people don't leave immediately because it means that they enjoyed themselves. And just like that, it was all over. I think one mistake I made was that I wore heels the whole time. So by the end of the day, my feet were so sore as we were cleaning up. We also tried to be as sustainable as possible. The blankets we used were all donated to homeless and the decorations were also kept and reused for another garden party. I honestly had the best time and I can't wait for next year.